Brendan, you know, we wish everybody the same life we had. 69 years. That's a long time. It, it is. is. A long time. It is. No, <laughs> nice time. With ups and downs. But a lot more ups than downs. We had a great life. Tony and Henny met about 70 years ago in Holland after Tony was discharged from the army after injuring his leg during the Second World War. Uh, I met Henny in a dance hall and she Gosh. was a heck of a good dancer. Everybody wanted to dance with her. And a good looking girl too. And, and not a bad looking girl. <laughs> maybe that's a bit of an understatement. Maybe Tony too. admits he <laughs> had too many drinks that night and Henny had to walk him home. He was talking a lot and I was just holding straight to him. One or two. The two uh, went steady for a year yeah, and then got married. Henny knew Tony was the one. Well, you feel that in your heart. The pair moved to Canada in 1953, now grandparents to 14 kids and great-grandparents to 17. I can't remember of one instance that we went to bed mad at each other. They spent many Valentine's Day together, but this year will be extra special after spending last summer at South Lake Regional Health Centre. They feared they wouldn't see Valentine's 2018. One morning, I were in the bathroom, I were washing myself, and uh, I thought that I had a heart attack. Shortly after Tony fell ill, Henny went down with a broken heart of her own. Two weeks I was dead worried about him because, you know, and then I didn't feel good. Yeah, they both developed the same condition. It's called aortic valve stenosis. But about 15 years ago, the first time in the world, they developed this procedure called TAVI. So this has really revolutionized the treatment of this condition, aortic stenosis. We're now able to perform it in elderly people, even in their 90s, who are much too risky for open heart surgery. They pushed each other to get better. Um, pushing them a little bit, they say, well, we have to stay together. I hope we can hang in for another couple of years. And I think we're going to give it a good try, don't we? It's an ordeal many couples don't have to go through, but one these two knew they could overcome together. How do you two feel about each other? How do you feel about each other? Well, uh, very much in love. Very, very much in love. In Barry Brandon Rowe, City News.